Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it's Friday so it is weigh-in day. We're gonna talk about my week, we're gonna talk about my weigh-in and we're gonna talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because I do a weigh-in every single Friday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to check out the description box down below for nutrition coaching. Highly recommend personalized to you macros and calories calories. This is how I've lost and maintained 140 pound weight loss. I also have one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things are also down in that description box. So let's talk about my week, the Weight Watchers workshop topic, and of course, this week's weigh-in. Hope you had a fantastic week. I actually had a really good week. We had some exciting things happen this week and really the most exciting thing, not weight related, but in my life related is that Lola had her final chemo session on Tuesday. So she's finished the entire CHOP protocol for chemo and now the neurotic dog mom in me is coming out. I wanna check her lymph nodes like 80 times a day, hoping that she stays in remission, fingers crossed. They say that the average remission is about a year. That's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping it's longer. She's doing really, really well. And it's a bit of a relief, both financially, time related, and of course for Lola that she's finished with chemo. So send all your good vibes, thoughts Lola's way for a long, healthy remission. One not so exciting thing that happened this week is I started my monthly cycle on Tuesday. Man, it was a rough one. I was not feeling good straight out of the gate on Tuesday. I was very thankful that it was a rest day for me for working out because I just wasn't in any physical condition to work out. It was Lola's chemo day. It's my filming day. I was really grateful for that. This month's cycle's been a little rough. I've had quite a bit of unsettling feelings. Just been a little bit extra fatigued, which is a little bit of a bummer, but I was able to get in all of my workouts. I actually got in my three days of boot camp, my days in the gym, and killed it despite everything. For me, it's all about consistency. And if I'm able to get to the gym and do my workouts, it's just such a huge part of my life and it's become a consistent part of my routine. And one of the main reasons that I've been able to maintain my weight loss and lean down my body is consistently working out. Even though I didn't feel 100%, I still nailed my workouts and I feel really good about that. I also feel really good about my food choices. I had a fantastic week, food choice related. I had a donut this week. I just tracked it, I moved on. That's one of the beauties of tracking macros and calories is a donut doesn't use up all of your calories or points for the day. You're able to really eat whatever you want, just track it, eat it in moderation and move on. The donut was delicious. By the way, it was from Dunkin'. That is one thing from Dunkin' that I think is really good are their donuts. Their coffee is not always so much, but their donuts are delicious. And tonight is my boot camp girls night. I'm so excited. We're going to see the new Barbie movie and then we're going to dinner. We're all gonna dress up in hot pink and wear anything Barbie motif. I'm super excited. It's going to be a great time. My boot camp girls night every month is something I really, really look forward to and I have been dying to see the Barbie movie. So overall, despite the little bit of a setback, my week has been fantastic, which of course I'm super, super grateful for. Before I talk to you about my weigh-in, let's chat about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. That is what to eat in tricky situations. I think this is a fantastic topic. We all end up in tricky situations. I know for me, I can end up in tricky situations pretty frequently. Maybe you're almost out of points. Maybe you're feeling hangry or maybe you're off track just following a particular scenario. These types of things are going to happen during our weight loss journey. And there's some tips and tricks on how to navigate this. The situation, running low on points or hungry between meals. Find a go-to solution. Create a meal or snack using a favorite high protein zero point food like chicken breast or eggs and fiber rich produce. Make it work for you. Buy and prep ingredients now so they're ready in the moment or stock your freezer or pantry with quick prep foods like frozen edamame and canned tuna. 
Maybe the situation is you're off track and you want to reset. Use the app's recipe finder or what's in your fridge tool to map out a delicious meal featuring low point foods that you love. Set your table and plate your food like you're at a restaurant. This can help make the meal feel special and get you excited about your comeback. And lastly, maybe you're at a restaurant with tons of options. Decide how many points you want to spend, then look for foods that you know you can enjoy in that range. The restaurant finder in the app can help. And if you're unsure of points values for specific restaurant or menu items, guesstimate or use items from a similar spot to help guide you. If these whole situations seem obvious, great, because these are things we're going to encounter, like I said, regularly throughout our weight loss journey. Planning go-to foods ahead of time is essential. And one other thing I wanna point out, and it's probably really should be your biggest take back from today's video, is don't starve yourself all day because you're going out for dinner. All that's going to happen is that's going to backfire. You're gonna to get to dinner and you're going to overindulge because you didn't fuel your body throughout the day. Eat normal throughout the day. Just choose lower point, lower calorie, smaller portions throughout the day to save, to have enough in the bank for going out for dinner. But don't starve yourself all day because you have a dinner or event coming up. Like I said, I promise you that's going to backfire. You wanna be able to incorporate foods that you love throughout your weight loss journey, kind of like my donut that I had this week and still reach your goals. And as always, I wanna share three fast facts with you from Weight Watchers. Number one, incorporating the foods you love can help make healthy eating more enjoyable. Number two, leaning on lower point go-tos unlocks more opportunities to enjoy higher point favorites. And number three, identifying go-to foods ahead of time saves you from having to mull over what to eat in challenging situations. Fail to plan, plan to fail. It's my favorite saying because it's 100% true. Plan ahead and make sure that you're fueling your body throughout the day so that you're not becoming hangry or ravenous before a special event or meal. That's really going to help you stay on track and still enjoy your life. Eating in tricky situations can be tricky, but if you have the right tools in your pocket, you can navigate these and still reach your goals. Now it's time to jump into my weigh-in, but before I do, I have had so many messages this week, DMs on Instagram, messages in my Facebook group, comments on my YouTube channel. You guys want an update on my scale, or you've been asking me what scale I use for my weight. I use my Fit Track scale and I love everything about it. Not only is the scale super accurate, it's a smart scale. So it's going to tell you water weight, muscle weight. It's going to give you all of the health information and everything is done on an app. In fact, you can track your weight in the Hume app for the FitTrack scale. I love this feature because when I weigh in, I just connect it to the app and it keeps track of my weight, but it also keeps track of all of the other health pieces. It lets me know how is my body changing muscle wise? How is my body changing fat wise? Am I retaining more fluid on this day than I did on this day? The invaluable information that the FitTrack offers is invaluable. I love the size of the scale. It's small, it's compact, it's easy to store, and it is incredibly, incredibly accurate. Like I said, mine is from the brand FitTrack. It is the Dara 2.0 scale. What's also really cool about this scale is more than one person in your family can use it. So Troy has his own settings on the scale compared to my settings on the scale. So when I step on, I weigh under my settings, Troy weighs under his setting. And the app is 100% free. It's very cool to be able to log everything into the app. I used to log my weight into Lose It, but that was just one more step that I had to take. And with the Fit Track scale, it automatically does it for me. A couple more features of the app that I love is it has personalized health monitoring, predictive health analytics. So it analyzes your health data to identify different patterns. Super user-friendly, super easy to understand. It has data-driven coaching. So you can get personalized weekly action programs to help you build behaviors that stick. It gives you a progress report, which I love, and you even have the option for a virtual nutritionist, which will help you optimize your diet. Now, along with the FitTrack scale and app, I highly recommend having your personalized macros and calories done. I can do that for you, and that way you have that data to compare with the health and weight data of the FitTrack. The scale is extremely, extremely affordable, and I have a special discount for you as well. So I'll put the FitTrack scale down below all the discount information. That is the scale that I love. That is the scale that I use every day. And it is the scale that I will forever use because I find it to be the most accurate. 
I love that it has the app and I love all of the additional health data besides weight because you guys know that the weight on the scale isn't the whole picture that the Fit Track gives you. So speaking of weight, let's talk about my weight. So you know that I gained three pounds when I returned to working out a couple weeks ago. Last week I lost a pound. I'm kind of in that in-between stage right now. Am I still wanting to lose weight? fat or am I wanting to maintain my weight? I'm still in the recovery process for my cosmetic surgery. I'm only two months out, a little over two months out, and the recovery process can take up to six months. So it doesn't make sense for me to declare maintenance or fat loss mode until that six months is up. So I can see kind of how I heal, what my body looks like, how am I feeling after full recovery. So right now I'm just kind of in the maintain stage. And if I lose a little bit, great. If my weight goes up or fluctuates a little bit, that is fine too. You guys know that maintenance is not a number, it's a range. So I actually have a range that I like to stay in, a five pound window. Girl never gets out of that five pound window. If I do, then I rein it in because that is how I'm going to be able to maintain my weight forever. So speaking of maintaining, I am exactly the same weight to the ounce as I was last week. Now, like I said, I lost a pound last week. I'm right where I want to be weight wise. I'm at the bottom of my five pound window, which is where I love to be. And I'm feeling really, really good. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling hit fit. I'm feeling healthy. I'm loving the data that I'm seeing on my fit track scale. I'm seeing fat go down and muscle go up, which makes my heart happy. I'm just feeling really good. And I'm completely thrilled 100% with a maintain. I will go ahead and put up here on the screen how much weight I've lost total and my current weight for reference. I know this really helps you guys out to see what my actual weight is. And yes, lean muscle can make you look a lot smaller than the scale says. And we are here for it. Now I want to hear from you guys. Let me know how was your week? How was your weigh-in? Let me know if you use the Fit Track scale, if you love it as much as I do. And don't forget, it will be linked down below for you with a discount code. And what are your thoughts on eating in tricky situations? And if you have any tips, we would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in tomorrow's pretty massive grocery haul. Have a wonderful Friday. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.